I love. There's I a love place them. in Covent Garden which is beautiful. Yeah, I've been to French that restaurants. Place. I've been to really that nice place, cheese board. And I've been there before. But I want to know if there's another place. Best cheese board. He's talking about snails. Yeah, I know, but they do a good cheese bowl as well. <laughs> and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Sell some cheese. What a lovely and lunch. All washed down oh, with a mm. lovely blueberry blue mange. Blue mange. Yeah. And okay. you're going to do a. Because, well, I mean, that, obviously I at I school we like our, our white and pink blue mange, but. Yeah, but that was a bit of a. You know, Miss Nam, really. It's not a particularly a good thing, actually. It was, it, like, it was like a set jelly, wasn't it? Mm. it Blumont should be very light. As I said earlier, it sh it, it, essentially it's a savoury dish. But it's the amount of gelatin you put in, and that's the problem. If it's not right, it's like a nice hockey puck. If it's good, like this one here, it's perfect. There's a difference. Oh, no, I won't say that because it's rude. I was. <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> well, what, I was gonna, what I was going to say is it's the difference it? between. It is. It's <laughs> you boys. There's a difference between um, a breast implant and a natural breast. Oh, okay. I was, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Because when you turn Blamond upside down, you know. Oh, stop. <laughs> Shall I go and sit down? <laughs> Lost control. She's just. That. Anything that comes into her head, she's just saying. <laughs> I have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. Yes. The late, I have to say, the late Jennifer Patterson. <laughs> Late Jennifer Patterson used to shake the bullmon and she'd say, it must have the wobble factor, and then she'd eat it with her fingers. Mmm, I yeah, love to. Right, let's great. start over here. Blamange. Very right. simple. Right then, young man. Right. Yes, sir. We're making an almond blamange today, and you can make the same thing without the almonds, but that's where the original recipe came from. So, first of all, you've got to make it almond milk. So what I need you to do is put that into there. What, all of it? All that pint of milk. Right. These are crushed, right. unblanched almonds, as fresh as possible, and they've got a really nice flavour. The ones are cut years old, a real stir. Give a good stir. And then what you need to do after that, leave it for about an hour and you get a lovely almond flavour and colour. That's right. you done. I've always wanted to say this. Dunk. Right. Then you strain that out. Yeah. Okay, and you look like that. Then you strain that out and yeah. you make that back to one pint. Okay, okay. well, I'll pour that in there. Yeah, pour it at the top and it'll come back to one pint because obviously a lot of milk Ooh, soaks up in there. So you're if getting you don't, almond milk. Almond milk. If you don't put it in there, obviously, sorry, <laughs> it goes back to being quite rubbery Perfect. again. Okay? Top man. Okay. Anthony, right now, so, this is the this is the the, the, the guts of the blanche. Right. Egg yolks and sugar. We're set together. That's it. I'll take it off here. Nice one. And what we're not after here is a is a really thick custard. <laughs> Let's go bring it together. Oh, whisk, man. Whisk. Oh, whisk. Oh, whisk. Oh, you might do, oh, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Everyone else got really easy jobs. <laughs> <laughs> now this back into this it. here <laughs> this is the the thicker. Now this is gelatine. You can Stop. use seaweed or um, a seaweed substitute like agar. This is the box standard thing you, you, you buy now, but that's made from fish bones and beef bones boiled down. So if, you, if you're a vegetarian, obviously you can't use it, use seaweed extract. Uh, and it, or liquid pectin works very well as well. Okay, that's perfect. Now, what we've done is put that milk into there, bring that to the boil. So that's now, your almond milk. That's the almond milk. That goes onto there. Now you, you whisk that. That's it. And then you put it back into there. Whiskey, not stir that's, no, that's fine. That's I'm whisking it in, all right. Listen, I went on Hell's Kitchen. Do that like that, yeah. And we yeah, how long did you last on Hell's yeah, Kitchen? <laughs> I went on it. Yeah, how long did you last? I didn't want it. No, I went on it. Three days I lasted. Yeah, yeah did, three days. Anyway. And then Marco <laughs> annoyed you. No, <laughs> well, I think I annoyed him. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you cook that for about, I don't know, four or five minutes. And as you can see, it'll thicken straight away, and like this one here. Okay. That's Maybe just one leaf, was it? That's, no, no, there's four and a half leaves of the smallest jersey. Oh, OK. Yeah, and that's it. Now you put that into there. <laughs> that goes yeah, in. stick it in there. The whole lot. The whole lot. And that will dissolve almost <laughs> instantaneously. It's like a jellyfish. It is, isn't it? <laughs> now, if you're going to use lens. granular gelatine, yeah. then you need to re right. read, the, pa the, read the, the, the packet because it will be slightly different from leaf gelatine, which okay. that is. And that will dissolve instantly. Look at that. If you're a cook, you didn't know it. Thank right, Leach. Now, what ends up, you know this here, once that's cooked, you then yeah. put that over to ice and you just set that until the gelatine starts to set or pop it in your fridge. Then... Yeah. Is it, is it, is it, you don't hair? want to send it, get someone no, sending it back no, to the no, 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 don't. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, we need to gently whisk <laughs> fold that cool. <laughs> that's it, into there. Now, what happened is, at the setting point here, it's quite technical, at the setting point, the cold cream will thicken even further. If it's too warm at this point, the cream will melt. And that we get a very heavy mousse. Very technical, really. That is perfect. Look at that sticking up perfectly. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, just, I just I think if I just take this slowly and just make sure I fold. Yeah, see it. Fold. <laughs> yeah, big. Fold. Hang on. You've got to get the lumps out there. Look. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. See, look. Like that. Like that. Like that. That's it. Now. Right. To go with this, we've got a saffron syrup. Now, saffron normally is with uh, um, savoury foods. Here I've got a mixture of sugar and water. You can put a touch of glucose in there if you like to give it a softer feel. And then you literally get a pinch of saffron stamens, which are these. Okay, and you pour that in. And within seconds, look at that, changing colour. 
Wow. That will change colour. <clears throat> now, I'm not a great lover of saffron, I have to say. No. I think it tastes like medicine or TCP, but oh. a little bit does go a long way. I was saying that it's, I, I thought saffron was always just used for like risottos no, or no, cakes no. and things. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I didn't. I but didn't you know. are actually correct, it can be, but also in small amounts, like Cornish saffron cake, for instance, mm. which is a classic one, or, or just dressing it like this works perfectly. Now, that is yeah, perfect, and with that, you then ladle it into those okay. two little bowls. And that's a perfect consistency, see that? And that will set perfectly. Now, after about half an hour, you end up something like this. Here I've got the cold syrup. Now, yeah, boys, you can come and give me a hand here. One for you. Oh, actually, I'll bring it to you. There's your blueberries. Lee, you can do this as well. What One, two, three. You can help each other. Pile your blueberries on top. Oh. As many as you like. That's it. And I'm going to bring your mind just back to you guys. And you could do this with like any fruit, right? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> cool. I'll, I'll help you. And you can do mate. this with any fruit, yeah. anyway, any of the strawberries, peaches. <laughs> or melons. <laughs> and then, <laughs> pour on your syrup. Look at this, pour on the syrup, look at this. I look love the saffron. Here. Look at that, guys. And spoons, one, two, three, four, one, two. So this doesn't have to set. No, that one's already set, that was being in the fridge. Oh, OK. This is what's right. Yeah, you can. And still and firm, I've got yours here. Yeah, don't fancy it. Don't, don't like eggs. eggs. No, I'm allergic. So oh, are you? Oh, good, good. Oh. There you go. This one you tried very earlier. Thank you very Ooh. much. So that's actually all right. I can imagine. Mm. Mm. So it's a very simple dessert, but uh, what I want to do? There you go. <gasps> Just <gasps> now. You see what I mean? Ah. What does that look like? Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, like it. It's like that breast oh. thing you were talking about. Yeah. There you go, you see? Exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> surely not. Put one of them on top. Mm. Anyway, mm. Very good. It's been fun. Thanks, gentlemen, for your help. Oh, Cheers, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you, lads. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks, and um, and well, as I said, we'll put all the details of where you're going, what you're doing on our uh, on our website. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Thank you very much. Right for details of all of Phil's recipes from today. In case you didn't follow, uh, have a look at our website, itv.com slash this morning. Or if you're a Sky viewer, then you can press your red button right now. And coming up today, we've got the the music. We've got the boardroom. We've got the apprentices. Revealing all about last night's boardroom battles, we've got Deborah, James and Lorraine were all fired. Don't miss our Apprentice stars coming up right after this.